Hi friends, this is Gail O'Neill and I teach stamping. I hope you enjoy. So I'm starting out crumb cake, five by three and three quarters. And let me just show you a few of the sets we're gonna use. So we got some country living. We got some geared up garage, which is gonna be the first cards. Um, Happy Tales. Flowering Desert, I use Just You're So Awesome. Gallery Grunge, I use this piece. And then Country Roads, a lot of stamp sets, right? So with this one is Geared Up Garage. And I took what I call grease and some people call it smoke. So I guess, you know, whatever floats your boat, you can use it for whichever, but let's see, I used now. So I'm using soft suede. And did I stamp off? I don't remember. We'll find out in a second. Yes, I did. Because I wanted it on the light side. So I just went across the bottom. Just like that. Then I took the car. That classic car. And stamped it. So it could be there, you know, be... Uh, going through the smoke from the car in front of it. They're racing down the road. Okay, then I took your classic. So this is all straight, simple stamping. Let's see how straight I can get that. Your classic. And then I took the happy birthday and stamped that. Ooh, not too bad right there then I mounted that on soft suede and I think this is going to run out and I don't have another one handy I got plenty of this so we'll use this so we're going to mount that on the soft suede and then we're going to put it on a very vanilla, thick cardstock. I loved when they came out with the thicker cardstock. So there's card number one. Simple, simple, straight stamping. Okay, so card number two, I used a little bit of DSP. So this was Crush Curry, also um, five by three and three quarters, and then my normal base, and that was um, Tranquil Tide. And then this is two by five, this piece. So again, I used, I gotta clean it off. I use the grease spot and I did that in smoky slate. So we'll move that to the side. Let's see if I, yeah, I'm not, I don't even remember. Yep. And again, I did that off. So we've got that. We're going to put this down. And then we're going to mount that to this piece.
All right, so where's the pre-cut one? It's here. What did I say today? I never lose anything on my desk. <laughs> I had a car. All, oh, there it is. Yay. Okay. So this one I popped up, but let's, I may as well do this piece. So this is going to be the greeting. So make that all greasy. And then I stamped happy birthday in black. And we've got the memento for that. And then I took some of the crushed curry and sponged around that banner. So we're going to put a few So I got to say Rach was very brave today for doing those cards without ever doing them before. She deserves this because at least she didn't cry like I did. <laughs> if I had done that live, I would have really cried. <laughs> Oops. So then I'm just going to put that right there. And it's a very quick... We're going to mount that on the darker gray, which I almost forgot to do. There you have a quick happy birthday. You can make up a bunch of those. So that's two down. So again, my five by three and three quarters. This is the card. I mean, how easy is that? But we are doing a little, little masking. So we're first going to stamp it in the soft suede. Just like that. Then the mask, and you know I use the Avery Easy Peel stickers. And you always want to cut your mask just a little bit smaller so you don't get that, that line. So then we're going to stamp in the same soft suede the wheel. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cover up that wheel. And we're going to take that one. And that one I did in crumb cake. So let me remove that. Oh, I am going to need that again in a second. I'll just set it over there. And larger stamps, it's much easier to ink them upside down. Now, did I stamp off? Well, we'll find out. I'm not going to stamp off. Oh, I'm going to stamp off. Nah. <laughs> it's 
pretty light. Okay. Okay, so then we're just going to take that and stamp it. So we're done with that one, and we can remove that and that. And look at that, I did get like a very teeny line there. Okay, so I think we're done with that. So then we're going to take the thank you. No, that's your classic. We're done with that. It's a big thank you. And we're just going to stamp that right across there. And then we're going to mount it. Can't get too much easier than that, right? And then that's going to go down on very vanilla. So you can make up a bunch of all of these cards and just have them ready to go. So there is that. Done, done. Don't even need any accents on it. Okay, so for the next one for that one, I am using some DSP. So I'm leaving this dark as the bottom and I'm going to take the weeds and this is an old olive and I'm gonna stamp it once twice and a third time Then I'm going to bring back the soft suede. And I'm going to stamp the horse. Okay, then this was a little piece that came off when I was cutting down the six by six piece. So I'm going to take, was it this happy birthday? Not really. All right, we'll use this little one. So we're going to stamp that. And then we're going to take, if I can find one. Uh, sponge that I didn't pull out so I need my neutrals and that's the darker there it is oh let me do the um, yeah I just took it and flagged the ends first before we sponge it okay now it's safe to sponge it need I'm being put that right back in there okay so this is going to go directly so this was five and a quarter by four and this is going to go directly onto the card And this 
this is not even. So when that happens, get your edges up and then take your bone folder and bring everything down and go across and it'll all be even again. Now I'm happy. As long as I'm not cutting off dogs' heads. Okay, so then this, now this, usually if I use DSP for that, like I'll, I will cut a piece of cardstock, but what I did, I actually use this piece and this piece, but we're gonna, we're gonna sure this up pretty good. Even if I have to cut them a little different. No, I want it to go that way. Because it's so soft, you don't want it to like squish and let's see if this will work. It might. And that's a little uneven so we're gonna fix that that one and then I put that right across there oh it's already mounted I'm so silly so that is that one. Okay. So then we still have a couple more. I did that one. Cute. Okay. So I pre-cut it, which I didn't do the first time. I actually stamped it and then went and cut it out. But this time, so we're going to take soft suede. Where'd I put it? So I'm going to stamp the pup down here. And then the balloon from Paper Pumpkin. I'm going to stamp that in Poppy Parade. And then clean it off. And then in Pacific Point. Let's see how that's going to work going part way off. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, and then I quickly colored him, and I mean quickly. So I used um, light crumb cake. And then I took, I didn't use that one. This is the light soft suede. And just went in a couple spots. Okay. 
under the ear, the other leg, and wherever they gave the spots, a little bit up the tail. And then went back with the crumb cake and just spread it out a little bit. So we're talking mega quick. Okay, and then I took one of the journaling pens and just brought squiggles. And then I continued them down. So I had three there. Kind of messed one up. Okay. And if you ever get a little ink spot, well, that's how the other one got red pearls on it because somehow I got ink on it. All right. And then I took in black and I just have to find the stamp. And stamped birthday cheer all around. And now we're going to mount that on specific point. Specific. <laughs> now, if I wanted to say specific, I'd say Pacific. Okay, so we're going to mount that there. And then we're just going to mount it flat right onto the thick white. So right now in Australia, because their time is different, they're at convention. So I just saw one of the um, demonstrators showing some of the goodies that they're already getting. I'll have my stuff on Monday, even though I'm not not going. But I'm I'm not. This is what I did on this one. I just put a few pearls. I'm going to leave them off on that one. But they are cute on there. And that was just taking the blends and coloring some of the white pearls. So then for the last card, more doggies. This one is a little bit more detailed, but still, still pretty easy. But I'm going to show you my new toy. It's not stamping up, but... It's an awesome toy. So this is by Ranger. And it's a metal board with grids. And then it's got this ruler, which is going to be awesome for placing things. Like, you know, if you need to be even with something, you'll have the ruler to do that. But what's really cool is... I made a stencil. I punched the dog. I didn't punch the dog. I didn't hurt him. Um, all right, so I used Smoky Slate. And let me just look at where I put them. And I have all these dogs pre-punched out. So I started with one down at the bottom. So what you do with this thing is you can, and a lot of times you're using like bigger stencils, but once it's it's down, it's like not moving. So, see, I want to hold it, but you don't even have to hold it. So for anybody that really does a lot of stenciling, this is an awesome, awesome tool. So with this, you have to, you know, keep moving it. If you were using, it's going to be great. Uh, I'm going to try doing some of the, um, you know, our making like the bricks and whatever that stuff is called. I haven't used it in forever. It's probably dried out. Um, so 
So I just sponged a few of these. I try and do it a little faster so I'm not keeping everybody here forever. But this was the only card that had a little bit more, but it I still think it's a basically easy card. It's a fun card. But I wanted it to look like it had shadows. So I'm just going to hold this one. And one on the edge. And then just a little bit of tail. A little bit of tail butt. There we go. Okay, so then I came in with all these that I punched and put some glue on them. And I wanted that shadow, so I put it a little to the left of the shadow. So once they're all down, then I just took the bigger scissor and snip them off. As well so then this went down on that oh, I wasn't supposed to put one there I got carried away all right, I'm going to end up mounting one over it, but this is what it finishes up to be. So that got stamped there onto the shadowed one, and then I added all these little hearts. So that one will get changed a little bit, but it'll be fine. And I may as well finish putting it together. And then I'll add the You're Awesome and the Little Hearts. It'll just get finished a little differently. That's all. Okay, so let me throw everything to the side. Get rid of that. And I'll bring everything back. So these were the cards. You ordered one, Sandy? He said yours is on the way.
So thanks for joining me. I'm glad you're all here, and um, I will see you Sunday. Have a great rest of the week. Good night.